What is up YouTube? This is Cal Bladwin coming at you. How's everybody doing? Great, I hope. Hope you're not too hot wherever you're at. And you're having a great week. Hope you had a great weekend too. Well, so I ran across something when I uh, got my last Axial. I actually got a, a pinch bar uh, from Axial as well come in this can well when it came uh, it had a had this pick in it and it was a titanium pick and I was like what is this I've ne I'd never seen one before and I was like well you know uh, it, it you put it on your keychain and it's you could use it as maybe a tactical spike it, if you needed if you're in like a I don't know I want to say a hostage situation and you didn't have no weapons but you had your keys on you you could have this on there and possibly help you get away so come on so what it is I found these elsewhere and these are supposed to be uh, titanium as well I think this is a brass casing but the pick itself is supposed to be titanium now, as you can see boy it's pretty pretty spiky right I mean we can all agree that's pretty pretty spiky uh, and so come to find out what these are are and this ring here, this is actually a ring that come from Axial uh, that was in with the the pinch bar and stuff. So, but what these are are reusable toothpicks. I was like, oh crap! Well, wouldn't that suck? Wouldn't that suck to be picking your teeth with one of these and? crack a tooth or something because it's metal that's the only thing that would kind of worry me you just I guess need to be careful if you're going to use it as a toothpick but I see this as a self defense device you know you, uh, these are not the rings that come on them I'm actually going to show you They actually come with a little brass ring right there. And then these go on the, these are extra for a seal so you can seal it up. But, you know, I see this as a self-defense device to be able to put on your keychain and it don't take up a lot of weight. And that is a very sharp, spiky spike, you know. And you, I, I guarantee you, you don't want to get get poked with that. You get the keys in your hand and get that between your fingers and just jab at somebody. I mean, how many holes can you poke in somebody by just doing that right there? I mean, that's just crazy uh, and I, these were on Amazon I got three for cheap I can't remember how much they were no more than fifteen dollars I don't think come on focus fucker alright so I figure they're kind of worth it you know I mean for the money that they cost they're they're kind of worth it and that's concealable I mean nobody would ever think that that was a, a a spike most people would see this and because I wear glasses most people would see this and go oh he's got a glasses screwdriver on his keychain wouldn't think twice about it you know and you've always got 
some way to kind of protect yourself, even in a, a place where guns and knives aren't allowed. Just because guns and knives aren't allowed in a place doesn't mean there's not going to be any crime there. You know what I mean? So, I think these things are pretty cool. I like them. Uh, I just think they're kind of neat. I will let y'all know now. I have two extras. And I'm going to give them away. Uh, I gave away my axial one to uh, one of my viewers. Uh, he had bought some quick survive from us, and uh, he was. We were on vacation. We wasn't around to be able to um, fulfill the order in a timely manner because we didn't expect. To, you know, we hadn't had an order in a minute, and we were going on vacation, and we didn't really think about it. Uh, getting an order while we were gone and he was so cool about it that I felt like I needed to do something for him so I ended up giving him that axial pick and he says he loves it he's a leather worker and uh, he uses it for an awl for his uh, leather working and I was like that's a good that is a good way to use it man I mean really and he sent me some of his work that he's done, and it's really good. I mean, uh, he makes costumes out of leather and pouches, knife sheaths. Uh, he's done some really good work. And uh, But anyway, he said he liked it, and he uses it for his leather work. And, and there's all kinds of stuff you can use these for. So, if y'all are interested in one of these, let me know in the comments below, and I will do a giveaway and give them both away. Uh, what do y'all think? Do y'all think that's a good idea? Do y'all think y'all might be, want one of these titanium toothpicks? Uh, I think they're pretty neat, and it's something you can add to your EDC and... and uh, always have it there and really never have to use it hopefully but you've always got a backup spike uh something that could help defend you you know and if you if you look at that look how thick my hand is and if you if you jab it in somebody's hand you know it's going to go all the way through. So it definitely could be a viable self-defense tool. Uh, and uh, masquerade as a toothpick as well. You know, you could pick your teeth with it and then stab somebody with it and they'll get a bacteria and, uh, you know be like put a whooping on them from from afar just by jabbing them right <laughs> i don't know i'm just playing i'm just <laughs> talking out my butt now but anyway uh I, if you like the video do me a favor like share subscribe it means the world to me it only takes a second of your time and i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart y'all don't even know uh We've got up to 300 subscribers. I'm pushing for 350. Um, I'd like to hit 350 in the next month. That would be cool. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the toothpick. And if you're interested in one and would like me to do a drawing on them, let me know in the comments below. Because uh, I'll definitely do it. And I, I'm a man of my word. Like, I don't sit on my laurels. When I do a, a drawing, you know, it's a day, maybe two tops, and it's going out. Uh, so I'm not sitting on my laurels for you to be able to get something that you want on my channel, for sure. But anyway, I hope y'all have a good night. I hope y'all have a good day. I hope you have a great week.
I hope you had a great weekend. And as always, I hope your belly's full. I hope your refrigerator's full. And for the love of everything, I hope your gas tank's full. We might not have none for very long. So, I love y'all. Have a good one. We'll see ya.